Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So are you ready to do your mini routine for today? So let's start. Today we're going to start in all fours. So our breathing exercises, we're going to do it sitting if you feel comfortable and also you can keep your back straight. If not, we can lie down on the back. So remember, it's just about the awareness of the breath. So take any sitting position or lie down. Move your hands onto your tummy. Relax your shoulder, relax your face. Listen your breath. Feel the air coming in and out through your nose. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Feel the movement of the tummy, the ribs. Try to keep your chest open and your back straight. We're going to take a couple of breaths. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth with a sensation of fog in a glass to start to engage, uh, practice Ujjayi breath. So inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna do the same sensation, but keeping our mouth closed. Remember, if you don't remember how to do it or you lose the sensation, exhale through your mouth again, and then take a couple of breaths and then close your mouth and close your mouth. Sorry, and come back to the Ujjayi breath with the mouth closed. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale through your nose. A subtle sound. I'm exaggerating and you listen really strong because I have the microphone, but it's very subtle. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. How do you feel? Good. So let's start. We keep this deep breath the whole class. We're going to start on all fours. So we keep our hands under the shoulders, hips above your knees. Keep the same with hips, knees, and feet. And remember, the, all the things we're doing in yoga, bueno, we do a lot of things in the hands, but it's important to protect our wrist. If you're suffering for pain in the wrist when you do yoga, it's because you are not engaging your muscles, your upper body muscles, and also the position of your hands. So instead to have the middle finger pointing to the front, we're going to use the index finger. So the hands are going to open a little bit. So from all four, Align the index fingers to the front so the others cannot move on the side. And spread the fingers and as well, don't keep your fingers flat. Press with your fingertips so then you can engage your muscles, but you have more grip with the ground and less, uh, you less, how to say, collapse the weight on your wrist. So let's just start to cut and cow. So we're just gonna go inhale, tuck the pelvis in, change the chest, curve your spine, exhale, move your pelvis forward, lift the chest. Tail move out, chest move up, lift your face. And again, inhale, tuck the pelvis in, feel the curving of the spine all the way. Move chin to chest, exhale, move your pelvis forward, arching your back. And anytime, close your eyes and really connect with the movement of the spine. Let's go for two more. Inhale, tuck the pelvis in, curve the spine. And exhale the opposite by moving the hips. You start to arch your whole back until your neck. Last one. Inhale, cat stretch. And exhale, cow stretch. We back into the neutral position, engage your tummy, curl the toes under, and we move into down dog. Now, down down can be a very strong pose when we are not that warm, so we're going to try to be very gently. So we lift the knees, we move the palm backwards. If you feel too much tension in your legs, you're going to bend the knees. Okay, it doesn't matter you bend the knees. The most important is to keep the back straight and the arms straight. We are going to inhale, lifting the heels by curling the toes under, and exhale, heels go down without forcing to go down as far as they can go with a nice sensation. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go two more. Inhale, heels up and down. And just one more. And down. 
Slowly, we drop the knees onto the ground and we step forward with the right foot onto the lunge. Try to slide the left knee as much as you can. Don't keep it under your hips. I'm just going to turn around so you can see what we are going to do. Mm -hmm. So from our lunge position, we're going to raise our torso, mm -hmm. move our arms up. We're going to do lateral flexion, so we're just going to reach towards to the side as far as it feels comfy. We hold for four, for stability. Press strong with your big toe at the front. Not with your knee at the back. With the front, the big toe at the front, and the foot at the back. Or you can crawl the toes under to help you. Let's hold here two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back to center. We change. We go all the way. If we cannot reach the ground, it's okay. We can keep the hand on the hip. We hold for four. Press with your big toe at the front to give you more stability. Let's go for three. Open your chest. Good. Let's go for two. Oh, fantastic. And just one more. Great. Release. Move your hands on the ground. I'm going to turn around so you can see me. So from the hands onto the floor, we're just going to step backwards. All fours. And we go down dog again. We go, inhale, heels up, exhale, heels down. We can keep the legs slightly bent if you feel pain at the back of the leg. Inhale up, everybody, exhale down. Let's go for two, and down. Just one more, and down. Slowly, we drop the knees back onto the ground. We step forward with the left foot, so we're going to do the other leg. Slide the right knee onto lunge. Remember, try to keep your knee backwards. We raise our torso, arms come up, and we just go sideways again. Left side. Well, let's go for four. Let me turn around so we can see each other. <laughs> let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And release. Other side. If we cannot reach the ground, remember your hand on your hip. Let's go for four. You can always use a yoga block if you have it. And let's go for three. Two. And just one more. That's great. Release, move your hands back onto the ground, step backwards onto all fours, and we're just going to go on to downward dog one more time. I'm going to turn around, okay? So let's go here. Curl the toes under, press with your fingertips, and we're just going to go down dog. We go inhale, heels up, exhale, heels down. Without forcing your heels down, let's go for three, and two. And down, just one more, and down. Slowly drop your knees back onto the ground. We're going to step forward right foot. So before we do the low lunge, now we're going to do the high lunge. If it's possible, if you feel like I don't feel comfortable doing the high lunge, keep the knee on the ground. So here we press strong with the feet because this is a lunge position. The back knee needs to be slightly bent. Okay, then we move our arms up and we're going to do that again the lateral flexion. So drop the arm and we reach towards to the side. We hold for four, four, and three. You can keep the knee on the ground, remember that. Let's go two, and just one more. Release. We go other side. I know it's getting hard for your legs, but it's good to strengthen our legs to improve bones density as well. Let's go three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for two. And just one more. Now drop your hands, and your legs are going to be tired. Drop your hands, shift the weight onto the front leg, keep your tummy close to your thigh. You can bend the knees. Don't worry about extending the legs if you feel pain. Lift the back leg, we bend the back leg, and we try to reach with your toes towards the ceiling and push your thighs up. We hold four breaths. Hold the ground with your fingers. Let's go for three. Two. Two. 
one more. Now drop your foot just beside the other one. We're going to bend the legs and we're going to sit back as a squat as far as you can go. Some of us, we can go very high. Some of you, very low. We hold for four, three, two, one more. Now push the ground to lean forward onto forward bend. Bend your knees. If your torso is too far away from your thighs, you bend your knees and we let the torso come closer. We don't put on the pressure on our legs. Move your hands beside your feet. Let the head drop. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And one. Lift your chest and straighten your back. You can keep your hands on your lower leg or on the ground. You can bend the knees to allow you to straighten your back fully. Watch the ground. We hold four breaths. Four. Three. Two. One. And drop your hands on the ground and step back with right foot, left foot. We move on to all fours. Let's go again, cat and cow. So we go inhale, cat. And exhale, cow. Straight. Release your neck as well. Inhale for three. And exhale. Two, exhale, cow, and the last one, cat, and cow. Back onto neutral, we curl the toes under, we go on to down dog again, so your legs might be a little bit warmer, so we go inhale, heels up, exhale, heels down. Let's go for the three. Press with your fingertips on the ground. Let's go two. And just one more. Nice. Right, slowly we drop the knees back onto the floor. So we're going to do the high lunge in the other leg. So step forward, left foot. Remember, if you feel more comfy keeping the knee on the ground, it's fine. We lift the leg and the back knee have to be bent because we are in lunge position. Arms up, drop your left hand. We reach lateral flexion towards the left side. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. And get your tummy. Let's go for three. Two, and just one more. We swap, other side, and we hold for four, three. I know the legs are getting shaking, it's okay. Just keep going, two, two. We can do it. Just one more. Release, drop your hands. We're gonna drag the back foot closer. We keep the tummy close to the left thigh. We lift the back leg, we bend the back knee, and we push our thigh up. The base leg can be straight or can be bent. It all depends that we don't feel no pain. And let's hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Three. Two. Just one more. Release, drop me the foot beside the other one. Keep the same with hips, knees, and feet. And we squat. Don't get stressed. If you squat here, it's okay. Give it time to your body, okay? So we hold for four. Three. 
shoe. And just one more. Forward bend, everybody. We can bend the knees if we feel too much tension or if our thumb is very far away from the thighs. And we hold for four. Three. Two. Just one more. Leave your chest straight, your back, hands on your lower leg if you have to. Bend your knees if you need to, to keep your back straight. You can keep your hands on the ground if it's comfy, but make sure that your lower back is straight. We hold for four. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. Step back with right foot, left foot, back again on two all fours, and we're gonna do the kneeling twist. So the left arm gonna go under the right arm, and then we're gonna, if you feel comfy, you extend your right arm. And it's super important that you press with your hand, with the right hand, and gently with the left arm. Don't let the weight collapse on your head. We hold four breaths. Oh, this is nice. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And one. Now bend your right arm, push your body up, and we're just going to change other side. Arm, extend your other arm. If you feel comfy, now keep it a bend. We hold for four. Three. Two. Just one more. Drag the leg close, the hand closer, sorry, and come up all fours. We're sitting back on our heels if it's possible. If you cannot go all the way, keeping your hands or your feet on the ground to lift your pelvis, you just keep your hands close to your knees and go down as far as you can go. Okay? This is our last stretch of the routine. Lift your pelvis, open your chest, we hold for four. Three, two, and just one more. And we release. Well done. If you have time, you can repeat again the sequence. Just remember, go to the chapter in the description below or in the video itself. And if it's your time to go, so let's say goodbye with our last three breaths to just give us some energy. Ready? Inhale, arms up. Exhale through your mouth. Arms down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale through your nose and this time exhale through your mouth. Hands back, pray position and say namaste. Thank you for joining us. And we we'll see you in the next video. And again, you can follow us in Instagram as a Secular Studio and Facebook. Have a nice day.